What's up guys? Welcome back to IT Security Labs and today we are completing Cyber Heroes from Try Hack Me. So it says want to be part of the elite club of Cyber Heroes? Prove your merit by finding a way to log in. So this is a challenge that we have. I'll first just go ahead and join the room and then once we join the room we'll start the machine and then try to see if we can be part of this elite group so the machine is starting and in a couple seconds here i'll get an ip address all right so it looks like we have an ip address here i'll go ahead and copy it let's see if we can ping it from my machine we're supposed to see a website but first let's just try a quick ping we can get there then i'll open a browser so according to our instructions we need to go and visit that url http so let's just do that well Okay, welcome heroes. We are cyber guardians. Okay, this is a nice website. So the first thing that I do when I get to your website is I just view the page source, enumerate by hand uh, before I put any tools. And what I'm looking at here are any comments, any interesting JavaScript that might be running. And sometimes it shows the version of the software. Let's go to about. Okay, group of hackers, de developers, and bug bounty hunters. Okay. See the page source. We have a login page. We like login pages because then we can check for SQL injections or things like admin, admin. Okay. Incorrect password. Try again. You got this hacker. Okay. So it's popping a message. Let's view the veg source on this one. So we should see some of that text. Oh, look at this. Here's a script that's running. So the value, okay, what's happening here? This is the authentication one. Uh, this is the authentication page errors. Oh, we also have a get random. Is this a flag? Okay, and this is what we just got the incorrect password. So what's, what's happening here? We have a function for authentication. A is goes to document.get you name. So I'm assuming this is a username. Then B is the password that we put uh, for pass. And here is saying if the value of A equals to this, which looks like a username, and the value of B equals to reverse string and whatever this is, we get a status 200. Okay? Else we get this is not working. So this is what we're using here. So the value for the username is this. So let's copy it. Go back. I guess we're not working hard today <laughs> from the looks of this. You don't find a lot of the um, in hopeful information in the comments. So this is the value of us really looking at um, the source code. But it says reverse string. What is this reverse string? I'll go and look it up. Oh, so it's just a way of reversing a string. So just looking at this reverse string here, it looks like we are reversing this string, which we can easily do in Linux by just uh, echoing that to reverse. Well, I can do that right now. Let me show you. So echo that string and pipe it to rev. And we got the reverse from here so it's super secret one two three four five uh, kind of clever way of putting things but we figured it out very easily all right let's do it again and we we're in it says congrats hacker you made it go ahead and nail another challenge as well oh so this is the flag let's take that go back to our room put the flag and we're in. 
So that was our challenge. Make sure to always check your source code uh, for web applications. Otherwise, thanks for being here. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.